Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to use anti forgery token with form submit in ASP.NET Core. So let's start. We'll start from the controller. So as you can see, there is a controller already present which is named as home controller. Now I'll add a view for the action method. It will be an empty view, so I'll directly click on add. So in the view, we'll start by adding a form. So the very first attribute is method. We'll set it as post as we are doing form submission. The second attribute is encryption type. Though it is not required in this case, it is mostly required for file upload operations, but still I am setting it. The next one is the new .NET Core attribute. ASP controller which is used to set the controller and the next one is ASP action which is used to set the action method name to which the form will be submitted. Now I am adding a table element. In which I will add the fields and also the button. So the very first field is a text box for first name. I am setting the ID for the text box. Now I am setting the name attribute for the text box. Here the name attribute is very important because on the server side that is inside the controller, this particular field value will be accessed using the name attribute value. So the second field is last name. And here also I will give it a unique ID and a unique name attribute value. Now I am adding a submit button and for that I am making use of input element and I am setting the type as submit. Now let's move back to the controller. Before moving ahead I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also if you need any further help feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Here we'll add another action method which will handle the form post submission call. This particular action method will accept the values of the fields in parameters. So as you can see, I have defined a parameter first name while the second parameter last name. Here the case is not important, but you need to make sure that the value of the name attribute and the parameter name must be equal. Here I am making use of a viewback object. And I am setting the value of the first name and last name parameters into it. So here I am adding the HTTP POST attribute which will mark this method for handling POST calls. Finally, I will add a attribute validate anti forgery token to the method. This particular attribute will make sure that this particular method validates the anti forgery token. Now let's move back to the view where we will be displaying the value of this particular viewback object. Below the table I am making use of a horizontal line element and Using the razor syntax, I am displaying the value of the viewback object. Now, here I am creating the anti forgery token using the HTML helper classes. The anti forgery token function creates an HTML hidden field with the token value. So, this completes our application. Let's run it and see it in action. So, here I am adding my first name and then the last name. Now I am clicking on the submit button. As you can see, my name is being displayed. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Today we learned how to use anti forgery token with form submit in ASP.NET Core. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.